In this video, we're going to briefly talk about getting your frames, your map frames, into a layout. We're going to set the layout, we're going to add our map frames, and we're going to arrange them very basically, set their scales. Then in the next video, we'll talk about adding the other elements. So very basic steps. First of all, we need to add a layout. Well, anytime we're in Arc Pro, remember that insert is an option in terms of what you want to do. In other words, you want to insert. And I think you should always remember that these tabs kind of tell you the general grouping that you want to do. So I want to insert something into my overall project. Now, if I was in a map and I clicked insert, I could add a new map, new layout, etc. And so, again, I want a new layout. And I'm going to have a custom layout. And again, I want landscape. And I want it to be 20 by 14. Sorry about that. I missed one of my. And so 20 by 14. Let's try this again. We're in landscape 20 by 14 and OK. And you'll notice that I have my basic layout here. Again, layout, precipitation, temperature, forest data. So my layout, though, you'll notice underneath it has nothing in it. And so what I need to do is add information to that. So while I'm here, I can go to, again, my, I'm in a layout, and I can click on Insert. And what do I want to insert? Well, I want to insert a map frame. And so I'm going to click on the drop down here, and you'll notice it lists all of my elements. And I'm going to add them based on the current scale that they're at. So again, I'm going to do forest data, and that's going to be the largest element. So I'm going to make that pretty much all of the map. Now, the first thing I see already is that my scale is not correct. And so what I want to do is go to, and I, I happen to know this, 1,800,000. And I look at it and go, okay, that's not bad. The next thing, though, that I want to do is it's not in the right place. And so I'm going to go back again. So I'm in my map frame. So I'm going to go back to that, and I see, okay, this is, you know, this is where it is. And... What I want to be able to do is move that around, okay? And so, again, if I look at the layout, in terms of my navigation, what I need to be able to do is move this around. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to activate it. And now this is the active element of the frame. And if I click on my case on my middle mouse button, my pan becomes available and I can move that around. And now I'm going to, again, my, I have to move my scale out. And in mine, I do that simply by scrolling my mouse. So I'm going to, again, move it around and get it where I need it to be. And I think it's about there. Now remember, because I, I'm moving this, I can navigate in my data because I've activated this data frame. And you'll notice that everything else is gray around it. This little X up here closes the activated frame. Okay, now I'm gonna do that again because I'm gonna right mouse click on the data frame and click activate. Again, it goes gray. And then on my mouse, I have a middle scroll key, so I'm gonna pan. I click and there's my pan tool. And again, I'm just gonna move it up a little bit to show you. And so that's, I'm working on the data. Close that. And if I were to pan now, I'd be moving the entire map around. All right, so if I had my first element there, now I'm going to insert my next element. So I'm going to click on insert. Okay, so I'm now in here and I want to insert a map frame. I've already done this one. So now I'm going to click on this one. And again, I'm going to fit them in right here 
use up this area. And for the moment, I'm going to add the other one in, and then we'll talk a little bit about how to make them work together. But again, map frame. And notice that I have guides. And so I'm going to click, and I'm going to make at least these two maps roughly the same size in the same location. All right, so now we've got our three elements. So what I really want to do is have these two things be the same size. And so it's relatively easy. I'm going to click off of them for a moment. So I want this one and this one to be the same size. So I'm going to click on the first one, hold down the shift key, and click on the second one. And then I'm going to right mouse click, and I'm going to choose distribute. And I'm going to say make the same size. And you'll notice that this one kind of shrunk to this one. It's important to understand that whichever one I choose first is going to influence that decision. You know, it didn't ask me which one you want to make the same size. It simply did that. But now I have two map elements. Okay. Again, if I look at them and say, you know, I've got a little bit of too much white space over here, I can do, I can modify these in any number of ways. Oops, grabbed the wrong piece of my map. Again, very important to understand that. So I've got this one active. Okay, you'll notice outside map. I'm going to click off. Now I've got this one. So I'm going to move this over because I want it to be way over here. And I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Let's see if I can get it to about there. So now this is the first one I've chosen. I'm going to hold down the shift key, grab this one. Again, right click, make the same size. And you notice that now the second one that I picked becomes the same size. Now, I've pretty much filled my space. That looks pretty good. All right, so in this case, we've got our elements into the map frame. The last thing that we need to do is get these scales the same. All right, so we've got our basic elements aligned. We've got them roughly the right size. But you'll notice in our two smaller data frames, where things are is not the same, and it should be, and the scale isn't the same. Scale is an easy one to deal with. We've already dealt with that down here, and we're going to say for the moment that, and again, remember, this is our active data frame. It's got the handles on it. We're going to say that I think we want 6 million. Yep. Uh, let's do 5.5. That might fit. Or 5.75. 5, 750,000. Let's see if that fits. Yeah, just about. Again, got a little bit of space to spare. We can maybe even go down to 5,500, but 5 million, 500,000. Yeah, I think that's going to fit now again, but I need to move this around. The easy way, at least for me to do it, I right click and I activate it. And now I can use my pan tool. Again, in mine, it's my middle mouse button, and I can move it over. And now everything looks right. That's how I want this map to be. So I want this map to be the same. So I'm going to deactivate it. And then I'm going to right click on it. And I'm going to go into its properties. You'll notice properties appear over here. And I want to go to extent. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to copy all the extent values. Click on that. Click OK. Now I'm going to go over to this one, and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go to its properties, but in its extent, I'm going to now paste those values in and hit OK. And you'll notice it brings it to exactly the same location in the frame at exactly the same scale. So now we've got everything laid out the way that we want it to in terms of our general elements. In the next video, we're going to be adding our legends and the rest of our elements. We'll see you then.